Julie Hernandez and her 15-year-old son, Mario, are suing motorist Dawn O'Brien and her 19-year-old daughter, Hope, for medical bills and pain and suffering after a passenger in their car caused Mario to crash his bicycle. Ms. Hernandez, this is your son. He was riding his bicycle. And I assume if you go over there, you're going to show me that you were riding your bicycle in a bicycle lane? Actually, Your Honor, I was riding it on the sidewalk. So you were riding it where people walk? That is correct. Are you supposed to ride your bicycle on the sidewalk where people walk? It is not against the law. But annoying, especially if you're going fast. You were riding your bicycle and the defendant's car, which defendant? That would be you. Yes. Defendant's car was parked. It was in a school area, right? Yes. A school area where there were ball fields and people. I assume you were waiting for somebody? Um, I drove to the softball game, so we were going to play a game there. Were you in the car? No, I was not. You're just the owner of the car? Yes. You're her mom? Yes, I am. And you're riding your bicycle down the street. Was there a game that day? Uh, yes. So there were other people around? I believe so. And someone in the defendant's car, not the defendant, opened their car door into the sidewalk. Yes. Right? And as a result of that, you were taken off guard. I read your papers. And you did not come into contact with the car door, but you swerved. Yes. And fell off your bike, and you were injured. You injured your wrist, I believe. My, my wrist. Yes. Which required some substantial medical care. And you and your mom think that these people are responsible, right? You can step back now. I've told the story. You tell me why you think these people are responsible. Because when I, before I was ever driving, uh, we were pulled over by a police officer because I put a car can, a pop can on top of the car and it fell off. And he said he could take it my dad for littering, but he saw that it was me. He said the driver was responsible for everybody's actions in the car. So I couldn't find out the information to contact the person who opened the door because I tried to contact the principal the next day and he, would, he refused to send along my email to the mom and dad and he didn't give me the contact information for anybody. Well. So. But you don't have any cause of action against these people. They were not negligent in any way. Certainly, the owner of the car wasn't there. The driver of the car never opened the car door. Even if I found that there was some partial liability by a person opening up the car door and not looking on the sidewalk and expecting a bicyclist to be coming down the road, she's not responsible for a passenger's actions. And I don't know where he was looking. I, I was paying attention. Were you going fast? I'd say I was going about an average speed. Well, an average speed on a bike is fast. I know what happens when a bike passes me on the street, and they're supposed to be in either a bike lane or driving with traffic, right? Uh, I'd say so. Well, bicycles don't like to drive in traffic because it's dangerous. I mean, I live in, a, in an area in Florida where all the bicycles ride in the street with traffic. Cars slow down because they go fast, much faster than people who are walking. Because it was a school zone, there were not any bike lanes, and there were also cars lined up on the street because of the softball game and because of that it was a school zone. All the more reason why you should get off and walk your bike. In any event, these people aren't responsible for your son's injury. Not the mother, who was the owner of the car, and not the daughter, who I can't even say to her, did you look before you opened the car door? That's always a good idea. If you look and see if there's somebody out there, that's not her. You have no case against these people. Case is dismissed. We're done. Thank you.